Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today we're gonna be decorating my front porch. My front porch is pretty small. As you can see, she's kind of tiny, but she's cute. It is February, so this is a very odd time of year to decorate for. So I wanted to make a front porch decor video that anybody can use all year long. So if you're not somebody who likes to decorate for every single season and you just wanna kind of keep your front porch one way that's easy to change stuff out on for the season, then this is a great video for you to get ideas. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're going to be pressure washing and cleaning everything and redecorating. To start off, we have to clean off the porch. So it's been a while since I've had anything out here because like I said, it's just like a strange time of year and I just, it's cold and I don't want to go outside. But I'm going to take down this and then I'm going to blow up the porch because there is a bunch of leaves on it. And then we're going to pressure wash. As always, I'm going to be using the same pressure washer I always do. I'll link it down below for you guys. It is a really good pressure washer. I've had it for a long time. So make sure to check it out. myself if you're new here my name is Keely I'm 32 years old and my middle name is really rainbow I make YouTube videos about home decor holidays DIYs and motherhood and I like to keep it real I'm a normal mom with a normal house I just happen to show mine on the internet I live in North Carolina I have three kids and I'm married to my husband Tim who works out in the oil field I want to be your new mom friend so feel free to talk to me message me tell me about yourself I love to get to know y'all I share hacks and things that work for my family and generally just remind you that it's okay to have days where you're on top of your game and feel like like Superwoman and days where you start the dryer over again so you don't have to put away the laundry. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos all the time here on YouTube and I post on TikTok and Instagram too.
case you're wondering what my video plans are coming up, allow me to tell you. I don't want you to miss out on anything. Next up, I'll be doing a living room makeover. I'm getting a new couch, so excited, and doing a little painting and refreshing the space, and I cannot wait to share it. Then, we're probably moving into spring. This year is flying by. I'm gonna be spring cleaning, spring decorating, and sharing some outdoor makeovers as the weather gets warmer. We're also redoing our closet and doing built-ins, redoing our primary bedroom, and so much more. And as always, I'll be posting a ton of fun stuff to TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I like to share little vlogs over there and other small projects, so make sure to follow me anywhere that you can. of decor but I had to get a couple new things for this so I'll make sure everything's linked down below but the first thing I got was this rug which it says it's for outside but we're gonna find out because it is like light colored and I feel like it's gonna get really dirty but hopefully it's washable it feels pretty pretty good though there's other stuff down okay so this is the rug this is like the mat that's gonna go under the mat and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda thought it was gonna be wider, like this way. <laughs> I don't think I picked the right size. Um, but anyway, let's put that down and see how it looks. Does that look centered? I don't think so. How about this? Is that better? I can't tell. Hard to tell when I'm... <laughs> All the way over here. I think because this one is a lot less full than this one, it's like throwing me off. So maybe I'll just move her over. There. And then you guys are gonna love this, or you're not. This is our new welcome mat for the time being. Uh, <laughs> where's my Swifties at? Okay. But really, if you're not a Swifty, you probably won't get this. There's a whole thing about it behind it. It's about Taylor Swift. Anyway, so of course, this was a must have. So we're gonna put that down now. It's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. I still don't think it looks centered though. From back here it does, so I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna have to do. I feel like these are really versatile. They could go for like any time of year. I got this. This is a very inexpensive wreath from Walmart. It was like 10 bucks. I think it's a good one that you could like add stuff to for each holiday. So like if you had a bow, you could put like a bow for each different holiday on there. like my front door black with like the green. I think that looks really nice. But there's a lot of things that could go over here, but I have a chair that I have put there. I also used to have a table that could go there, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the chair and side table for now. So I got this chair, I don't know, on Marketplace or something and just spray painted it black to go with my decor. All right, we're coming along. That's looking pretty good. I like that chair over there. We just need some pillows, some greenery, and then I feel like over on this side I need something as well. I have some lanterns I think I'm gonna put. I have some options for like little decor pieces. Let me show you what I got. I have this house. I have this vase. It is black. I have this very old lantern. It has uh, lights in it. I have this random greenery. I have this. And I have this, this jug. Then I have this H. This is H for house. Just kidding, my last name starts with H. I have another lantern. This one lights up, it's on a timer. That's like fancy stuff right there. And I really do have a whole host of outdoor pillows, but most of them are like bright colors or, or something. So I figured I would just go with white. Let's put this stuff out and see what it looks like. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if 
from falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly so before I finish cleaning everything up and show you guys the finished product, I just want to point out a couple tips that I have if you are wanting some low maintenance outdoor decor that you don't have to change all the time. So the first one's going to be is to pick a color scheme. For example, mine is black and green. So green for the plants that are always there. That's simple and easy to put green on the porch. And then black. My door is black and my chair is black. And it's just an easy way to keep two main colors and then build on that if you want to. Plus green and black can be for any season in any time it works out all the time another thing is going to be buying things that are weatherproof and outdoor so like a nice rug that is outdoor and washable my wreath is inexpensive and plastic and easy to replace and not that serious because if we're being honest with each other how many people actually walk into someone's house and stare at their porch decor i mean obviously when you're watching porch decor ideas on youtube you are critiquing it and looking at it up close but I am not the type of influencer who's gonna sit here and say you need to spend a ton of money on your decor. I'm gonna tell you guys that most of the people that are coming to your house are either your friends or your family, so they don't really care and they're hopefully not gonna judge. If they are, well, you don't need them. Most people aren't going to be staring at your decorations and critiquing them and seeing if they're from like, pottery barn or whatever like it's okay to buy a walmart wreath and stick it on your door and have it look decent the other two i have is year-round plants these plants are just like grass plants they were very inexpensive at lowe's i bought them years ago they're still alive very low maintenance because i do not have great luck with house plants and they work all the time like they go out here any time of year that's another little thing to keep in mind if you're going to buy a plant for your front porch either make it fake or just make it something very low maintenance and inexpensive if you have any questions and and want any links that I don't provide down below, please make sure to let me know. I always love talking to you guys and sharing some little tips and tricks with you and just reminding you that it's okay to just be normal. I'm a normal person. I just like to show my house on the internet. It is super easy to get caught up in the things that the internet tells us we need to do and have to do and have to spend money on and that's not really the case. That's my soapbox about that, but I'm gonna finish cleaning up out here and show you guys the finished product. So that was a really quick porch makeover. It didn't, it didn't take me very long at all. I feel like it is perfect for any time of year. Like this could be summer, this could be fall, this could be Christmas, like it could be any time of year. All you'd have to do is like maybe change out the wreath, maybe add or take away some things. But overall, this is like a really great base that you could keep all year round if you want something low maintenance for your porch and to just keep it looking nice all the time. That is today's porch makeover and I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was quick it was simple it was easy and I hope I gave you guys some tips for ways to kind of make things look put together without spending a ton of money because you know your girl's cheap and a ton of time because not everybody has a lot of time to make their porch look nice so thank you guys for watching as always I'll see you guys in my next video and if no one's told you today you're doing a great job bye